Imagine a fuel that reduces carbon emissions by 95% compared to diesel, which is cost-effective and produced from biomass. It sounds like an incredible scenario of the future, but is actually already a fact in a Volvo truck's field testing of the next generation biofuel, BioDME. The field test has shown very positive results. We have demonstrated that the technology is working. We have also successfully communicated that we have a new fuel and it's working. At present, there are four fuel stations in different parts of Sweden to ensure that the trucks can run in normal commercial traffic. We kör cirka 65 mil. Alltså på en tank. Märkbart är det egentligen ingen skillnad. Inte som vi märker det. Mer än att den går tystare. Även utvändigt går den tystare. Ja, vi måste göra någonting åt miljösidan. Så att, ja, då är väl det här en rätt väg att gå. Alltså. Så här känns allmänt bra. Alltså. The Swedish company Kemrek is Volvo Trucks partner and producer of the fuel. BioDME can be produced from basically any biomass source. Kemrek's plant in Piteå, in the north of Sweden, is connected to a pulp mill and uses its black liquor, a very energetic and completely natural byproduct from pulp manufacturing. Instead of burning the black liquor, which is normally done when used as an energy source in the pulp mill, it is gasified to synthetic gas, which in turn can be converted to, for example, dimethyl ether DME. The energy loss in the pulp production system is solved by adding low-grade biomass in the form of branches, roots and tops from the forest to the biomass boiler. The system is very efficient and therefore minimizes the usage of biomass in the production. BioDME can replace half of the total diesel production for heavy goods vehicles in Sweden. The plant in Piteå currently uses only 1% of the black liquor in the pulp mill. The potential in Sweden and in the world is enormous. The pulp mill here in Piteå is a typical average sized pulp mill if you look at the world sized pulp mills. Uh, if you would take all the black liquor from this mill and convert it to a fuel like DME, it would be sufficient to, to uh, fuel about 2,500 trucks, heavy duty trucks. And there are about 20 such mills in Sweden. The project has opened the door to a future transport system. For the participants, the next step is to make the full-scale production not just an ambition, but reality. Camrex technology is now at a stage where it can be built and guaranteed by very large international construction companies. Uh, really now the challenge is for the lawmakers to put into place uh, the required stability and predictability in biofuels legislation. I'm very positive about the future because with our field test we have gained so much interest that now we see trends going in the right direction with investments into the production of future fuels as well as investments into the right infrastructure. So we're going in the right direction. <laughs>